joined today by Ranger, our red-tailed hawk, who uh, lives here at the Nature Center. Uh, Ranger was brought to us about six years ago when he was in a collision with a vehicle on I-96. Some really nice people took him um, from the side of the road to the Howell Nature Center where they rehabilitated him for about six months. Um, and in that car accident, he sustained a closed head injury, meaning that his, uh, he had some brain damage. Um, and while he was at the Howell Nature Center, they did bring him back to physical, good physical health, but uh, because of the brain damage he sustained, he is not able to hunt for his own food. So if he was released back into the wild, he likely would not survive. So uh, after being at the Hollow Nature Center for about six months, he came to live with us here. And like I said, he's been here for six months or for six years, uh, and he's about seven years old. Uh, and Ranger here has lots of friends that he meets every day, lots of visitors. Um, and he interacts with staff on a daily basis. We feed him six days a week off of a leather glove just like this. So you'll notice that Ranger here has really sharp talons and a really sharp beak, which is why I wear a leather glove like this. The leather glove is actually three layers of leather thick so that I am protected here from Ranger's talons. Um, and Ranger here uses those really sharp talons and a sharp beak to eat mice, uh, which we feed him uh, a couple days a week or six days a week. He uh, eats frozen mice that are then thawed out. Um, so he will hold those down with his talons and rip those apart with his beak until, until he gets little pieces. And I said he eats six days a week, not seven, because on Mondays, we give him a chance to clear out what's called his crop. And that's where all the non-digestible material is stored um, for him to then bring up as a pellet. I know a lot of you have probably heard about owls producing pellets, but our hawk here produces pellets as well. They're very small, but they're full of all of the bones and hair that he can't easily digest. So on Mondays, he brings that up and is ready to eat again on Tuesdays. So he's usually very hungry on Tuesdays. Um, Ranger is, like I said, perfectly physically healthy, and we'll see if he'll spread his wings for us here. You wanna spread your wings? Spread them out, let's see. Oh, look at that, he's showing off. So he can spread his wings, he can fly. Um, he just has trouble finding food. Oh, and he might fly for you here. He's looking around. While he does that, I'm gonna turn him around so you can see his characteristic red tail. Um, we call him red-tailed hawk because of how red their tail is, and right now he's using that Kind of like how a surfer balances on a surfboard, Ranger will uh, fan his tail out like that and move it forward and backward or up and down as I move him on my hand to balance so he doesn't fall off. And now sometimes because of his head injury, he's a little unpredictable, so he does like to fly, uh, but he's on this lead here, which we put him on every time we take him out of his enclosure. Attached to his ankles here, you'll see some anklets. Those are made of leather. They're very strong and they make sure that um, when he comes out of his enclosure, he doesn't fly away. And attached to his anklets, you'll see this cord here, which are called jesses. And the jesses are, is what attaches to his lead here. He doesn't always wear the lead, only when he comes out of his enclosure for programs or to meet you guys on uh, Instagram or Facebook, um, or when we bring him in to meet children and adults. So he'll go on his lead and then we uh, make sure we hold that at all times so he doesn't fly away because yes, he can fly, but we definitely wouldn't want him to fly away. Uh, we want him to stay safe here with us at the Kensington Nature Center. Now, um, you can meet Ranger. If you wanna come to the Kensington Metro Park Nature Center, uh, he lives in an enclosure just out back by our pond. Feel free to stop by, say hello. And uh, if you come in the afternoons, you might get a chance to see him eating his mice. Um, but uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the Kensington Metro Park Nature Center. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. But I uh, hope you guys come out and join us soon. And if you see me out there feeding Ranger, feel free to say hi. Have a great day.